Good morning, friends. Joe with St. Bernard Acres. This is November 20th. It's in the 20s. <laughs> I'm heading over to Lowe's to get load up the lumber. I need to do the bridge rails out at the barn. Gary and I are going to do those today. Hence, dressing more warmly. Uh, got a few comments on yesterday's video about the hat and the sunglasses. It's just having fun, folks. You know? Yesterday's video was kind of poking fun. Um, I did wander off like I often do and voicing my personal opinion on a few views. Well, that in of itself pisses off people. I think if you voice your opinion, you know, people don't like it <laughs> and I can't help it. I am an outspoken person. That's the way this channel has been forever. Um, I have tried very hard not to do anything controversial, <laughs> you know, not to discuss religion, not discuss politics, not discuss this, not discuss that. And it leads to a very boring channel. Really, it does. And it leads to having a channel and trying to make videos. Uh, it takes the fun out of it because I have to try to tiptoe around people's feelings. And I decided yesterday, I'm not doing that anymore. I hate that I, you know, people that have been around a long time want to leave the channel because I want to speak my opinion on things. Um, the comments are open for anybody to voice their opinion. If it disagrees with my opinion, then I welcome that. You know, it's uh, the dialogue is what we need, not to be, you know, pissed off and click off. And, you know, it's like people do on Facebook. And it, I used to let that bother me. It doesn't bother me anymore. So I'm not going to worry about that. I will say, and I probably should put this disclaimer in every video I ever make, because I've had to explain it numerous times. I am not a Republican. I am not a Democrat. I did not vote Republican. I did not vote Democratic. I am an American, period. I, if I had to be classified as a particular party or belief, I guess I would be a constitutionalist, then a libertarian. You know, this is such a politicized environment that they've managed to do what they wanted to do. They've split us up by ideology, you know. There is no more in between. There is no more, you're either so far left you can't be found or so far right you can't be found. There is no more allowed being in the middle. And that's a shame, it really is, but that's the way this country has become. And I can't change it, I'm not gonna try to change it. But I can tell you, yesterday's video with the hat and the glasses and talking about Pelosi and a swingers bar, that was fun to make. I liked making that. I'm not steering away from that kind of stuff anymore. You know, if it, if it makes you mad and you have to leave, leave. You know, I can't help that. I don't make this channel for you. You know, I make it for all of you. But no individual person am I making this channel for other than me. I make it primarily for me because I have fun with it. I needed to get some more fun back into it. Doing live streams is fun. You know, so doing these kind of videos where I can voice my opinion are going to be fun. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm not trying to argue with anybody. If you disagree with my opinion, that's why the comments are open. Let's have a dialogue. Let's not get mad and shut off the world. We don't need to do that. Anyway, that's my thoughts about yesterday's video. If you don't like the fact that once in a while I'm going to do videos like this, then... I hate to see you leave, but go ahead. You know, it's, it's a free country still, I think. Uh, you're going to miss out on the other videos, though. And I always title my videos. Don't tell me you watched that and you didn't like it because you don't like videos like that. I title, I appreciate you watching so that I get, you know, views. It helps me in the long run. But don't watch it and then tell me you're going to unsubscribe because you don't like those kind of videos. I title, I don't clickbait. 
I title my video so that you know what you're going to watch if you click on it. You know? Click on it and leave the room. Mute it. My wife does that. She mutes me all the time. It's easy to do. <laughs> so, anyway, enough of that. I want to talk about why Kyle Rittenhouse, the Second Amendment, and self-defense was acquitted yesterday in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And despite all of the lies by the prosecution, why they didn't dissuade the jury like they dissuaded most of the country, right? There are still people who believe that Kyle Rittenhouse killed black people with Black Lives Matter. That's how bad this has become, and, and the mainstream media has become, and pushing this agenda. You know, white privilege, look what that young man has been through. You know, look what he's been called. So I don't care if you think he should have been convicted, then fine. You know, leave the channel if you don't like what I'm about to say. I don't care anymore. I'm telling you, the prosecution lied. They made fun of the rioters and what they did to Kenosha and made light of, oh, well, they were just protesting. They were just demonstrators, you know. Uh, this man was a, an active shooter. Everybody knows better than that. The buzzwords work on the idiots. The buzzwords work for MSNBC to teach their people, you know. And the view to teach their people. They like those buzzwords. They believe those buzzwords. Us knowledgeable people, <laughs> we know better. Those lies may have worked on another jury in another state. But those people sitting on that jury, they lived there. They went through those riots. There were a hundred businesses affected by that with hundreds of employees. Kenosha is not that big of a town. You know? Everybody on that jury, I guarantee you, they know somebody who was affected by that. You know? Or their sons or daughters know somebody whose businesses was affected by that. So, you're trying to lie to people who lived through it. You're trying to lie to people who slept with guns next to them to protect them because of what these rioters were doing. You know, they know that their police department was ordered to stand down. That's why nobody was going to help anybody. You know, should Kyle Rittenhouse have been there? There are a hundred arguments for yes, and there are a hundred arguments for no. They're all valid arguments. But that's not what was on trial, you know? Clearly, a lot of, of uh, praise has to go to independent journalists who were there. People who have YouTube channels, people who go out and they're on the ground, you know? The mainstream media didn't cover it, honestly, because it didn't fit their narrative that they have to push. You know, you, you can't, you know, lie to those people. And, you know, you got the, some media and correspondents and stuff saying, well, you know, it was a mistake that they did this and it was a mistake that they, no, that was not, there were no mistakes made by the prosecution, except they mistakenly thought that those people hearing that trial and hearing that evidence were idiots. That's the mistake they made. You know, they lied intentionally, a calculated thought and action. They did it on purpose. And like I said, it would have worked in California or New York, you know, or Chicago but not to the people of Kenosha, Wisconsin, who watched their city being destroyed and nobody doing anything to help them. Where was the prosecutor at then? 
who's been prosecuted for a lot, the rioting and, and the looting and the fires and the arson? No. They weren't willing to protect the city of Kenosha. And now they're asking the citizens of Kenosha to convict somebody who tried to help. You know, come on. They are not. I, I'm so proud of Wisconsin this morning. You know, I'm so proud of what that jury had the courage to do. The system won. Whether it's perfect or not, the system won. And that's what I celebrate. I don't celebrate that Kyle Rittenhouse was found not guilty. I mean, I celebrate that because that was a win for my Constitution. Whether he was found guilty or innocent, it, it, you know, it's not a personal connection to me. The Constitution is, the Second Amendment is, the right to defend myself is, you know. And the bullshit about, well, you know, if he if he was black, then he wouldn't have got the self-defense, you know, it wouldn't have worked if he wasn't white. Google people who have been, fat, you know, acquitted based on self-defense. It's full of white people, it's full of black people, it's full of everything. Because we have to have the ability to defend ourselves, and they want to take that away from us. You know, it that was a win yesterday for all of us Americans. Whether we choose to see it that way or accept that that's what it is, I can't help that. You know, I know what it was. And I am happy. I am celebrating today because my Constitution won. And my jury system won. My legal system won. That's what this is about. You know? Now, he's going to become a rich man like Nick Sandman did. You know? <laughs> it's... They're lining up now. I mean, they're all running scared. But, uh, and good for him. I hope he gets it. You know, this guy went through, you know, they they, uh, they said during the trial when they was put on the stand and he cried like, oh, he didn't shed any tears, blah, blah, blah. That was all fake. That was what he did yesterday as they read off those charges, he acted the same way. That's the way he is. There was no acting. You know, that's just the way he is. You know, some people don't shed tears. Some people do. You know? It just, uh, it was a wonderful thing to watch. And as soon as it was over with, did you see the rioting in Portland? You know, shutting down freeways in uh, New York. Kenosha didn't erupt. That's what the mainstream media wanted to happen. Yesterday afternoon, as I was watching that, after the verdict, they were outside the courthouse. You know, there's 100 people there. For every 100 people there, 85 of them was the media. You know, it just wasn't that big a thing. And there was, you could see in the background while they were talking to the news people, you know, while they were on air, some kind of commotion going on and people running over there. Well, there was a woman that had a medical, she was having, a, uh, I guess, an ep epileptic seizure. And I saw white people and black people all going to her aid and trying to signal help, trying to get the cops over there, trying to get medical over there. It wasn't, you know, there was a moment there where even though one guy's carrying a sign that says free Kyle, another guy is carrying a sign that says, you know, convict Kyle, you know, they put their signs down to help this woman. It didn't matter the color. So that's what the news should have been showing. That's what they should be talking about today. But no, we can't do that. Anyway, it was a win for all of us as Americans. I don't care whether you like that or not. You know, Kyle Rittenhouse did not know that these guys were sex offenders and, and, and felons and all this kind of stuff. And that didn't matter. There is no justification that he killed them because of that. I'm not glad he killed that child. Well, there's a part of me that's glad he killed a child rapist. What was that guy even doing on the street anyway? He raped five little boys. He should never, ever see the light of day again to begin with. He shouldn't be allowed to be out in the public. You know, that's the crazy part. The, the, the prosecutors were trying to make these guys into heroes. Like they went and were trying to subdue an active shooter. You know? 
he had 30 rounds of ammunition in that thing. You ain't allowed to say those words on YouTube anymore. He only used eight. You know, an active shooter would have emptied that and put another one in and just sprayed people. He was very conscious of what he was doing, even though he was in a panic and trying to run to the police. If those rioters had left him alone, he would have run to the police. After he was attacked and he shot the first guy in self-defense, he was trying to go to the police. The other people wouldn't let him. If they'd have been minding their own, you know, should Kyle Rittenhouse have been there that night? I don't know. Probably not. Should all those riders been that, there that night? I don't know. Probably not. But that doesn't come into play. You can't say he should have been convicted because he shouldn't have been there. Those other people shouldn't have been there. Nobody should have been there. If we could all just mind our own business, it would be a better world as well. Anyway, that's all I got to say. <laughs> See, I did let it ramble out. I wanted to make a five-minute video, and here I go. That's me. But hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Uh, like I said, it's 9 o'clock here. <laughs> so I'm going to head over to Lowe's, get the truck loaded up. We're going to start work probably about 1 o'clock because I want it to warm up a little. I want to at least get out of the 20s <laughs> before I go out there and start working. But I want to get that railing done this year. And, you know, we're so close to having that bridge finished. And uh, Nick's going to be coming out later and bringing Max out again because it's his kind of weather. So he'll get to be running around uh, uh, St. Bernard Acres again, terrorizing Creamer. So look for the, those videos are going to continue on here as well as these kind of videos. That's all I got to tell you. If you unsubscribe from me, thank you for having been a subscriber. I appreciate everything you did, but good luck in your life. Good luck finding channels that, you know, don't voice opinions now and then. <laughs> but this is Joe. I hope y'all subscribe. I hope you like these. hope you comment on them. Unfortunately, the dislikes don't matter anymore. They don't even show up on the videos. The creators, content creator can see them. The channel owner can see them. You know, I think I'm up to about a dozen dislikes on yesterday's video. But it doesn't show up, so it doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, but <clears throat> have a good weekend. Look for others. See you tonight. I'm doing live, 8 o'clock. We're still going to do that. We're going to talk about prepping. You know, a lot of people want to discuss prepping, so we're going to have an open conversation about prepping and just an exchange of ideas. God bless y'all. God bless America. I'm out.